Once upon a time, in a faraway land, a young prince lived in a shiny castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled, selfish, and unkind. But then one winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince snared at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. And when he dismissed her again, the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal a beautiful enchantress. The prince tried to apologize, but it was too late, for she had seen that there was no love in his heart. As punishment, she transformed him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell on the castle and all who lived there. Ashamed of his monstrous form, the beast concealed himself inside his castle with a magic mirror as his only window to the outside world. The rose she had offered was truly enchanted rose, which would bloom for many years. If he could learn to love another and earn their love in return, by the time the last petal fell, then the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast?
I suppose if we're going to have a wedding, I'd better go propose to the bride. Run yeah. along now. I'm just full of surprises. For you, not what's that? Oh, a miniature portrait. <laughs> of yourself. You shouldn't have. Don't mention it. You know, Belle, there isn't a girl in town who wouldn't love to be in your shoes. This is the day your dreams come true. What could you possibly know about my dreams, Gaston? Point. <laughs> Just one dream, nearly all your life. Hoping, scheming, just one dream. Will you be a wife? Will you be some he-man property?
did you get that scarf? At the woods. Pretty nice, huh? That belongs to my father. Well, find his keeper. LeFou, I want you to think very hard and tell me exactly where you found that. No. Think. In the woods, okay? Harder! Near the crossroads. Then he's still out there. LeFou, you have to take me back. Not the woods again. But don't you see? Something must have happened to him. He could be all alone up there. You have to take me back. Not on your life. Then I'll find him myself. Suffer the 
consequences. Please don't do anything. There's Why? nothing you can do. Please, play, wait. I said there's nothing you can do. Take me instead. No. What did you say? Take me instead. Bell, you don't know what you're doing. You would do that? You would take his place? If I did, would you let him go? Yes, but you must promise to stay here. Forever. Forever? No, that's not fair. Wait. Come into the light. Make your choice. Val, listen to me. I'm old. I've lived my life. You have my word. Done. Papa. No. Take him to the crossroads. No, no, no. Not yet. Oh, no. 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 Papa. No. Papa. Uh, Master. What? Whoa. Okay. Uh, I was thinking perhaps since Seagirl will be staying of course, with us for quite some time, perhaps you would like to uh, provide her a more uh, comfortable room. You didn't let me say goodbye. What? I'll never see him again. And I didn't even get to say goodbye. I'll show you to your room. My room? Would you rather stay in the dungeon? No. Then fall up! <coughs> you fall this is your home now. You're free to go anywhere you like, except the West Wing. Why, what's in the It's forbidden! You are to never set foot there. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. Up that hall is your room. I hope you're comfortable there. If you need anything, my servants will attend you. And one more thing. You will join me for dinner. And that is not a request!
like a nice warm cup of tea to make the world seem a bit brighter. But you're, you're... Miss Potts, dear, very pleased to make your acquaintance. <gasps> Captain, who are you? <coughs> Madame de la Grande Bouche. Perhaps you've heard of me. Sorry. Oh, you see, they've forgotten all about me. One can be, and I quote, the toast of Europe. The brightest star ever to grace the stage. It would fall under one little spell. Wait. This is impossible. Oh, I know it is, dear, but here we are. Now, let's see what shall we dress you in for dinner. This is nice, but how would you like to wear one of my gowns? Let's see what I've got in here. Oh, there we are. <laughs> I wore this tonight and performed a ball. <laughs> very kind of you, but I'm not going oh, to dinner. No, 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 don't be silly. You heard what the master said. He may be your master, but he's not mine. I'm sorry. This is all just happening so fast. That was a very brave thing you did, my dear. We all think so. I'm going to miss my papa so much. Cheer up, child. I know things may seem bleak right now, but you mustn't despair. We are here to see you approve. I hope that we'll be friends, though I don't know you well. If anyone can make the most of living here, then hell, it's you.
Slow down, Maurice. Who's got Bella locked in a dungeon? A beast! A hideously monstrous beast! A beast has Bella locked in a Stay where you are. Lumiere, 
understand this all. I thought I told you to come to dinner. I'm not hungry. I'm the master of this castle, and I'm telling you to come to dinner. And I'm telling you, I'm not hungry. You're hungry if I say you're hungry. Don't be ridiculous. What did you say? You can't just go around ordering people to be hungry. It doesn't work like that. I can. Besides, it's rude. Oh, rude, is it? Well, then how about this? If you don't come down to dinner, I'll drag you by the oh, hair. Master, that may not be the best way to win the girl's affections. <laughs> but why is she being so difficult? Why are you being so difficult? Why are you being such a bully? Because I want you to come to dinner. So, you admit you're being a bully. <sighs> deep breaths, master. Deep breaths. I'll give her one last chance. Would you be so kind as to join me for dinner? Uh, Please. No, thank you. Fine, then start! If she doesn't eat with me, she doesn't eat at all. What were we thinking? We'll never be human again. So it appears. Well, what would you two have us do? Give up? I can't give up until I hear the sound of my boy's laughter as he runs through these holes again. Mrs. Potts is right. We must give up while there's still hope. Lumiere, stand watch at the door, and if there's the slightest change, inform me at once. We more copy time. I asked nicely, but she refuses. What does she want me to do, beg? Show me the girl. Anything at all. 
I am a little hungry. Set that. Cops, what? Well, you heard what the master said. And it's pops. I'm not the to let the poor child go hungry. Fine, crust of bread, glass of water, and then bed. Cops, I'm surprised at you. She's not our prisoner. She is our guest. Fine dinner. But keep it down. If the master finds out, it'll be our next. Yes, yes, but what is dinner without a little, uh, music? Music? Oh, chante, mademoiselle. It is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you here tonight. And now, we invite you to relax. Let us pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Be our guest. Be our guest. Put our service to the test. Tie your napkin around your neck, Sherry, and we'll provide the rest. So do show hard or dead, why we only live to serve. Try the gray stuff. It's delicious. Don't believe me, as the dishes, they can sing, they can dance. After all this, this is France, and a dinner here is never second best. Go on and lift your glass, you want your own free glass.
couldn't possibly go to bed now. It's my first time in an enchanted castle. <laughs> enchanted? Who said anything about the castle being enchanted? It was you, wasn't it? I figured it out for myself. I'd like to look around, if that's all right. Perhaps you would like a tour. I'm not sure that's the best idea. We don't want you know who go poking around. You know where. You know what I mean. Oh, yes. Perhaps you'd like to take me. I bet you know everything there is to know about the castle. Well, actually, I do. May I draw your attention to the hand-painted ceilings with cherubs frolicking to delight amongst the centaurs? Oh. <laughs> Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentleman. Oh, this will be good. <clears throat> oh, Belle. Belle. And if you will note the unusual inverted archways, this is yet another example of the late neoclassic Baroque period. And as I always say, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's say the buttresses fly in the aviary. Oh, yeah, it's all so beautiful. I had no idea. Only he were here. Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentleman. I'm nothing but a fool. And thanks to some quick thinking on my part, the disaster was averted. And that was the last time a stone of this weight was ever quarried in this area. What's up there? Oh, nothing! Nothing, 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 nothing of any interest at all in the West Wing. Ah, so that's the West Wing. Nice story! I wonder what is hiding up there. <laughs> hiding? What an idea, hiding! Then it wouldn't be forbidden, would it? Perhaps Mademoiselle would like to see something else. We have wonderful tapestries dating all the way back to Aloysius the Pretentious. <laughs> or uh, like to see the gardens or... The library. You have a library? With books. Yes. <laughs> Mountains of books, scats of books, waterfalls of books, cloudbursts of books. Books with pictures, books with words. More words than anyone can read in a lifetime. Books by the author who put pen to paper. Twisted face, there's not the slightest trace of anything that even hints at kindness. And from my tortured chain, no comfort, no escape. I see but deep within his heart. Teach me how I could have loved her. 
If I can't love her, then Long ago I should have seen All the things I could have been Careless and unthinking I moved on
Arthur drew forth the sword. So that must mean that he's the king. Oh, wait and see. I never knew books could do that before. Do what? Take me away from this place and make me forget. For a while. Forget? Who I am. <clears throat> what I am. We have something in common, you know. What's that? In the town where I come from, the people think I'm odd. You? So I know how it feels to be different. And I know how long that can be. time, Arthur drew forth the sword, and there arose from the people a great shout, Arthur is he. Told you so. <laughs> They're still in there? Yes, and so far he has been a perfect gentleman. <coughs>
so sure that you make it worth my while. See, I've got my heart set on Mary Bell, but she needs a little persuasion. Ha! Turn him down flat! It's like this, you see. There, a uh, danger I'll be thwarted and denied my honeymoon for the pretty thing I've courted refuses to swoon. So the time has come for a murky plan for which I turn to a murky man to find that thing where better than the Maison de Lune. I don't take this girl for granted. There's no path I haven't to her heart no seed unplanted, no flowers are strewn. But quite amazing to be late, she doesn't want you for her.
finally home. Rest here. I don't know what happened. The last thing I remember, I, I was falling. You were in the woods, Papa. I thought I'd never find you. But the beast, how did you escape? I didn't escape. He let me go. Let you go? That horrible beast? But he isn't horrible. Oh, in the beginning, I thought it was the end of everything. But somehow, things changed. How? I don't know. But I see him differently now. It's funny. When I look around, I see everything differently. There's been a change in me, a kind of moving on. The one I used to be, I still depend upon. For now I realize that good can come. Your way. 
Oh, no, I... I... 